another live broadcast from True Fire Studios. Uh, this is a real treat for me, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a treat for you. We don't get to see this artist as often as we'd like, because he lives far away in Italy, one of my very favorite places to visit, Massimo Verini. Um, if you're a True Fire student, you've seen at least four of the courses uh, we collaborated on with Massimo. We uh, did the Pop Guitar Survival Guide, five star reviews, five stars across the board, Rhythm Factory Acoustic Rock, five stars across the board, and we did Solo Motifs, five stars, Rhythm Motifs, five stars. He is one of your favorite artists. He's certainly one of ours. We met Massimo. We were at a very intimate guitar festival, the Suave Guitar Festival. Um, I, I had not met Maso, Massimo before that festival. He blew us away on stage, uh, did an acoustic performance. We later learned uh, that he's got massive electric chops. Later learned he's won four Grammys. Later learned he's been on... Uh, 48 million, actually it's 50 million, I was corrected yesterday, 50 million records, four of them Grammy winners, his views on YouTube, um, Massimo, I think it's 30 million views on your YouTube channel, sounds about 33. right. 33. Who's counting, <laughs> you know? Anyway, I am so thrilled, uh, Massimo had to do a performance at NAMM. We talked him into stopping here on his way home, and we've got two more in the can. We're gonna tell you all about that in just a minute. So, Massimo, welcome home, man. Yeah, thank you, Brad. Um, uh, we know it's really tough. Nam alone can be very tiring. Mm -hmm. um, but, so we very much appreciate you carving out another couple days to come here. And uh, and at first you thought you were going to get away with just a little visit, no plane, no yeah, performing. No, plane. no, you know that doesn't <laughs> cut it here. So just because I love you, I, <laughs> I said, know. I just come because I love you. I know, and for the dolphins as well. And for the dolphins as yes, well. Yes, Massimo, we we uh, he loves to fish, as do we. So whenever we go on the boat, it's the strangest thing, but it's true. The dolphins follow us around wherever we go. I yeah. mean, wherever we go. Yeah. If Massimo is walking along the water, and there's a lot of water here in St. Petersburg, somehow yeah. the dolphins are right along the edge. It's crazy, yeah? For me, it was amazing because I just, I'm used to see dolphins on the TV and uh -huh. uh, <laughs> on, on Nat Geo uh -huh. channel. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um, you so called I me that time the dolphin whisperer. You are, that's right. You are the dolphin whisperer. It's the most un uncanny thing. So um, we want to do a lot of playing. We want to talk about the two new projects here, which we're very excited about. The first one we're going to talk about is um, Blues Soloing Unboxed. And I remember you telling us about this curriculum. By the way, yeah. Massimo, very passionate educator, um, number one selling guitar educator in, in all of Europe, I believe. Okay. I don't know, buddy. So, okay, I'm, certainly I'm Italy. Happy. Hey, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> you know, I'm going to promote you the best I can. I mean, just an incredible educator. And he talked about this concept for unboxing the blues. Talk about that concept a little bit. So, uh, you, as you know, many of many guitar players, many of us, when we play the blues, we are stuck in the box. Okay, so if we play a, a blues in G, we play on the third fret a minor pentatonic, but it's not easy to move from the pentatonic to something that is different from a pentatonic. So in in that way, trying to find an answer from to give to many students, uh, I prepare that curriculum and. It's like to play a blues without the pentatonic scale. All the scales possible except the pentatonic mm. because for sure you know a lot of uh, tricky licks and or probably you buy on True Fire 50 blues guitar licks that are very important. But 
before to know it, uh, before to know how to pronunciate a, a word, you have to know letters. So la scale is like seven letters. Uh, I in this course I build a, a big scale, a super scale of nine letters, nine sounds, and then you can put your own licks, your words to create something that is unique. Also in the blues, not easy because you know that after one is four, <laughs> after right. one, five, blah, blah, blah. But I think that uh, I worked on this curriculum for years. And I think that uh, I'm very happy because I still not be a, a blues guitar player, but it, it will be very um, helpful for the guitarists. Well, we love this curriculum because, as you said, we all learn the pentatonic scale. And yeah. it's it's a great thing yeah. to learn the scale, to be able to play licks, to play over blues or rock. But it also can be a bad thing because we get stuck into the box, stuck yeah. in the box. Yeah. So I remember you talking about this course. I know that this, this concept is very, very popular in your own teaching. Yeah. We finally get a chance to do a course here yeah. on it. So let's, let's give them, let's talk about lead tones and pivot points, if you would, yeah. and um, give a demonstration. What do you so, say? First, uh, first of all, because the, the, before the backing track starts, is uh, I call think before you play. So uh, the blues is made by dominant chords. So a major chord with a minor seven. But often we play a minor pentatonic and we destroy or we overlay, we erase the major third and this interval that is a the tritone okay inside a, a dominant chord there's a tritone interval this is that is the most unstable interval in the in in a scale and so if we play uh, the the guide tones that are the, the third the major third and the seventh we can get the exactly the sound of the the chord, the dominant chord. And what is, I think it is amazing is that G7 has seven and third, okay? And when we move to C, just move two fingers here from F to E, from B to B flat, and the third becomes the, the seventh, and the seven become the third. So it's something that you, we can play the, all the blues with two notes. So G7, C7, G7, D7, C7, G7. So mm, what I mm, suggest to, to, my, to my students in, in, the, in this course, Blues Soloing Unboxed, is to try to play something using two notes mm -hmm. each on each chord and after, when we change the, the, the scales that are mixolydian, because it's the mode that we must, we must use, we change on this pivot point. I'll show you in a talk on, on okay. the backing track. Shall it's we good roll for, a you? Track for you. Yeah, yeah, Tommy, Tommy, please. Okay, blues in G. These are the, lead, the guide tones or lead tones. Simply connections. In, in this section now, we are going to play mixolydian scales with swing, okay? That is... Okay, now I'm going to play. So... Pivot point. There are the guy tones. I 
exactly the exercise that we do in the course. So never stop and always play that, that mixolydian. Thank you, Tommy. Uh, play the mixolydian scales and the mixolydian scale and the scales because we play the mixolydian on each chord since mm -hmm. our dominant chord is based on the fifth degree mm -hmm. of a major scale. Mm -hmm. And so while you change the, 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 the scale, you have to use as a pivot point one of the guide tones. This makes a sense. And this is the reason why we, we are not um, uh, making stops or pause. It's just an exercise. Remember, yeah, I, <laughs> I often say that this. I'm not playing a blues. I just do an exercise. Mm -hmm. So no, no, I don't leave my brain space to think, to, to improvise. No, it's just an exercise, all the correct notes. Mm -hmm. When we play, just uh, we can mm -hmm. put a slide, something like mm -hmm. that, if we, we, something like that. But when, when I do an exercise, it's exactly what mm -hmm. I want to play. And this kind of sound, if mm, put inside our improvisation, this is not improvisation, it's just uh, an exercise, the sounds of the chords. So, uh, for sure, you can hear the, the sound of the, each chord inside my exercise. L listen for this. It's just scales, right? One, two, three, four. Ba -bum. Okay, mm -hmm. but we we are using the tensions of the mixolydian mode and of the the dominant chord. Mm -hmm. That's important. And as I can, uh, as I say in the course, uh, for sure, when you play the blues, you play all the stuff you know, all the licks you know. But you s must stay concentrated on this and pick some uh, slices from this and put in your improvisation. Yeah, and what we love about this curriculum and your approach is um, m all students, anybody that's ever learned how to play blues reaches this plateau where they're hearing things in their head or from other players that they're not able to play themselves. And they mm. realize that there's it, it's more about playing the changes so that when the yeah. chords change, you're hearing the chord change. Um, chord tones, targeting chord tones, resolving to chord tones. What your curriculum does from, you know, kind of our perspective, it's like a way to get us to understand the principles, to identify where those tones are in relationship to the chords, and give us kind of a, a, a map, if you will, so that we, when we start to yeah. solo and improvise, we know what chord tones we want to hit to get the sounds that we're hearing other players do that we can't do with just our minor pentatonic. Yeah. So that's what this course is about. Before we go on to the next lesson here, I want you to know that Rosella is online. Oh, chiming okay. in. Charles. Uh, tell them about Rosella. We can't. Rosella uh, is mm, my partner. Yes. My also my manager. Yes. And uh, a woman that changed my life yes. <laughs> with love is always on my side. Yes. Uh, let me. And sometimes we, I don't know, I, my vocabulary when we talk about music is, is good enough. Yes. Here not. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but she helps uh, me a lot to understand uh, my direction. So mm -hmm. it's very important for my life. And she's also a great singer as well. Yeah, she's she's an amazing singer. We met Rosella, I think, and heard Rosella sing with you on guitar, the second Suave Guitar yeah, Festival. Yeah, the second so Suave. She is very, very talented and uh, and just a, a, a beautiful person, too. Yeah. Rosella, thank you for tuning in. Um, also, uh, if you haven't chimed in to tell us where you're tuned in from, we'd love to shout out to you. But, Massimo, we have folks from Las Vegas, Rome, of course. Uh, you guys will notice a lot of Italian names in the live uh, chat yeah. feed there. <laughs> uh, 
uh, Norfolk uh, in the UK, uh, Gallusburg, Michigan, Montreal, Poland, Kazan, Russia, Holland, wow, Venezuela, all over the world. Santa Ana, California, Zagarolo, Italy. Where's Zagarolo? That? Yeah, it's, Zagarolo. it's in in uh, in Lazio, not 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 far from Rome. Okay, Australia, Kenya, Geneva, Switzerland, and Seattle have all shouted out so far. Your fans, there's a lot of people here. Ciao, that, ciao, ciao. No, ciao, and everybody. Love you. Um, so if we haven't shouted out to you, please let us know. Also, you'll notice underneath the video are a couple of things you should pay attention to. Um, one is there's a link um, and a promo code. Massimo Live is the promo code. You can save 25% off either of the two courses that are on pre-order as of this moment or any of the other courses um, that Massimo has in the library already. Uh, which I mentioned, and which will probably flash up on the screen at some point. And there's a trivia question. A trivial? Yeah, don't give the answer to this, okay? okay? It's a okay. trivia question. Uh, and please don't answer the trivia question in the live chat feed, because you're going to give away the answer, and that'll lower your odds. But we will pick one person who has the correct answer to this question, to this Massimo Verini trivia question, and we'll give them a $100 gift card. That's wow. enough to buy almost your entire library with the okay. pre-orders, okay? okay? Here's the question. I hope you remember the correct answer to this. I hope. Uh, Massimo played acoustic and electric guitars on every song on a particular really special artist album. That album won a Grammy for Best Latin Album. What was the name of the artist? That's a trivia question. Do you, I hope you remember the answer. For okay. sure. Don't answer it in the no, chat. No, no, Click no, no. on the link, answer it there, and we'll pick uh, at, you know, randomly pick a winner at the end of this. Also, while you're in the neighborhood of these links in the video, you might notice a thumbs up. How do you say, how do you say thumbs up in Italian? Pollice su. Okay. Click that, please. We would love to spread yeah, the love. Thumbs up. Show your love. Give us some thumbs up. And if you do, I will get Massimo to play one of my favorite songs, okay? I'll, I'll force him to stay here and do that, okay? Yeah. Are you, are you ready to do that right now? Yeah. And okay. It's, it's a while that I, I don't play acoustic by myself, but mm -hmm. for you, I can okay. do that. So um, the, this first course, uh, you know, Blues on, on Box Soloing, um, it's on electric. The second course, which we'll talk about in a while, is acoustic. Um, but I thought I'd take a little station break and ask Massimo to play Bridge to St. Petersburg. Okay, before to play, yes, I'd like to talk when I wrote this song, okay? Please. The first time I came here, uh, that the airport is in Tampa, and Jack picked me up. No, it was Ellie. The, mm. first, the real first time was Ellie. Mm -hmm. And we went on this big bridge, very long, from Tampa to St. Pete. And it's as like something like a waves because yes. it's not flat. Yeah. And okay, it's just probably weird that you said, okay, a bridge inspires you to write a song, but it's something that is different. When li different lights, it's your eyes, uh, it's something changes in your, in your perspective of emotion. Mm -hmm. And emotion touches something in the limbic part of the brain <laughs> to and suggest you to to write song because emotion can write songs yes. and so i wrote this song i play for you uh, a part bridge to saint petersburg
was a little, you know, we digressed a little off our path, but I love that song, and thank you for writing that. Yeah. I remember you sending that to us. and Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were very touched. Um, did Ali charge you for that ride from? No, okay. no, 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 no. I, 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 she, we don't share the rights okay. for that song. So, because if you gave her $10 and she didn't give me five, I'd have to have a talk <laughs> with her, okay? <laughs> um uh, do you remember sharing a pizza in Suave when our first business yeah, meeting? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was so, a very sunny day. Yeah, sunny huh? day. We went to a pizza place. They had a thick, thick book of all the different kinds of pizzas you could get. But unlike here in the States, they don't mix a lot of different things together. No, it's, you could get no. a mushroom. You could get... you. The only thing they mix is a lot of cheeses. I remember that. Wow. Um, so when Massimo came to visit us here... We treated him to American pizza. American pizza burnt. on the boot. Yeah, on the, we were on and the boot. it had all kinds of different meats and yeah. big combinations, and it was quite an experience for him. But and your he's your never pizza is for it again. also very big. <laughs> oh, yeah. I cannot do the. You know that in Italy we use a lot the, the hands. Yes. But if I want to say that a pizza is big, yeah. This is a pizza big, but uh -huh. this has another meaning. Is <laughs> I, I tell you after. Yeah, we've learned <laughs> a lot mean? of Italian sayings. Yeah, here. you have an, a we, lot of bad yeah, words. We may we'll share one of them a little bit later. I love yeah. the chickens. Okay. Would be you a safe chicken. bet. Okay. Yeah. Also, blah blah uh, blah. Uh -huh. Blah blah blah. Um, so back to blue soloing on box. Let's yeah. talk about modes half diminished and diminished because. All of us blues players love to add a little bit of that kind of outside sound. Uh, tell us how to do that. So, um, after uh, the Mixolydian mode, uh, we can uh, have a, a minor sound, but using not five notes as in the pentatonic, but seven notes as in a scale, in, in a... Um, I, we call, I don't know the translations, diatonic. Yeah, diatonic scales, it probably is the same. So we can mix a Mixolydian mode with a Dorian mode. And there are something, many notes that are shared. So if I play in minor on a G7, that means that I play a Dorian mode. So it's a, I have the minor third. The Dorian mode for G7 is already the Mixolydian mode for C7 because the Dorian is the second. So it uh, means that I'm playing on a G7 with the, with the notes of F major. So G7, Dorian is in F, F, G, A, B flat, C, so Mixolydian for C. And so in, in a, a couple of lessons, we mix Dorian and Mixolydian. And also, if we, after, we will add the, the, um, the blue note, okay? The blue note is the, uh, the flat five. So in the pentatonic is... So if we take the pentatonic and we use the flat five instead the five, we have a half diminished arpeggio. So we have two ways to use the half diminished arpeggio. One is the in the major way. So on G7, I use the half diminished arpeggio from the major third to have the sound of G7-9, or we can overimpose, superimpose on G7, the half diminished arpeggio, to have the, a bluesy sound in minor. And also in that, we have many, many, many lessons in the, in, in the course, for sure, and not, is not explained as I'm, I'm doing. We can use the, the pentadorian after the dorian. The pentadorian is like a minor pentatonic, but with the sixth. And so if we use a combination between a combination between sixth and the flat five, uh, we may use the, uh, the um, diminished arpeggio. 
and we can superimpose on G to have a minor sound or half step up in A flat to have the, uh, a diminished sound like a jazzy sound or put together. So I think that we have, with Tommy, he sent the, the track number three is G, the blues, only two chords, okay, G7 and C7. And this backing track is used just to learn how to get to the fourth chord mm -hmm. with the, with um, tensions because we put, okay, we can play, we prepare the sound, then we put tensions. And when you put a tension, you need to release the tension. Mm -hmm. And when you get the fourth chord, it probably is the, the part where it is like a 5-1 because mm -hmm. G, A, uh, is 5-1. If the, f the G is a f uh, 5, C is the 1. And this tension released uh, make a, a good opportunity to put more tension before. Yes. It's like one, two, three, four. This ten this part we put the tensions. It's like okay, let's let's uh, have a let's look. Let's roll the track. Yeah, Tommy. yeah. Roll the track. Thank you. One. So the track is one, two. Always these two chords. So Okay, this is diminished arpeggio overimposing G. Uh. Okay, or I can use half step up. Yeah. Dip, do, dip. Mm -hmm. For sure, we need to prepare. It's not like bam, diminished. <laughs> Come on, but sounds like if we mix the two diminished together. Stuff like that. So it could be uh, challenging. But it's it's a color for sure. You cannot play all the blues with this sound. Mm -hmm. But it's l slices. Little spice. Little spice. Yeah. Okay. If you like the spice, you cannot put the same spice all over uh, on the appetizer, on the main course, and for for sure not on the dessert. <laughs> right. <laughs> so this lesson, uh, this is one of the lessons that we think is worth the price of admission alone because. Mm. Um, so many of us are looking to unlock the diminished secret of players like Robin Ford or Larry yeah. Carlton that will Masters. spice up their lines Masters. with a nice diminished or half diminished. And, um, and it's not easy to explain how to do that, but you've made it very easy in this course. Yeah, because it's different. When you, mm, when you approach to Larry and Robin, they are myth. Okay, yeah. so uh, it's like, I can see like an iceberg, okay? Yeah. And you can see just the, the part that right. is over the right. water. Right. I explain what is under the water. That's right. Probably, but they are also, they are also artists. And they play that because it's what their human being suggests them to yes. play. Yes. I'm in this case, I'm a teacher. Yes. And I, there's nothing that I can hide to my students. Yes. And so is to understand that, okay, we have 12 tones in an octave. Mm -hmm. We have seven in a diatonic scales. Mm -hmm. And often there are different sounds, just a combination of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, ca I, we cannot use uh, different scales, but different arpeggios or, or layering arpeggios can have different flavor, and it's always a combination. In this course, we will talk also about the Mixolydian flat six, mm -hmm. that is a mode from the minor, me melodic minor. Mm -hmm. But it's just, okay, take a Dorian and raise the F. Everything is made, I think, uh, uh, okay, 
uh, advertisement. I think I did a good job. <laughs> you really did. Hey, Tommy, how, how many, uh, what's the time duration on this course? Oh, it's got to be around three, three and a half hours. Okay. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just looking at the blueprint here about how many lessons. Wow. Um, oh, man, there's uh, probably 30 some. There's yeah, probably, probably more than 30, 35, 36 yeah. so lessons. 40 total lessons, and there's got to be at least like 20 different little practice sessions in there. So we cover Massimo covers. Let's see how I join we with Massimo. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because we're proud. Yeah, okay. yeah, for sure. Um, this is the perfect uh, curriculum for that blues player that loves playing the blues, that's a little tired of hearing the pentatonic all of the time, that feels locked in that box, but wants to start going outside, introducing new colors, getting that diminished sound. And to Massimo's credit, he really, really is a, a great teacher. He takes you the bottom half, the underwater part of the iceberg. Yeah. Um, it's all here. And, you know, we don't have a lot of time. We can't cover a lot of ground. But, I mean, we cover everything is covered in this course that you need to step up your soloing to the next level and get unboxed. Yeah. Um, play. Let's let's do that thing where you put it all together on track and two. And put all together is something that I, I a very um, uh, affordable, not not uh, in, not difficult to play solo, made with slices of that. Uh, in almost in the end of the course, we can we can see that all these energies make a big scale. I mm -hmm. call the nine tone super scales mm -hmm. that is made by one, two, minor three, three, four, flat five, six, uh, five, six, and seven. And- Masson, uh, do me a favor. Oh. One more time, really slowly, because this is a big key here, yeah. this super so, scale. Okay, one more time and slower. First of all, if we have the correct accentuation and the correct groove, swing, tune, to tune, to tune, to tune, we can play notes that are tension on the same chord as a static note, mm -hmm. okay? Because it's the accent, mm -hmm. okay? And put the correct accent is like when you talk. You don't put the accent on conjunctions, mm -hmm. but on the verbs or, mm -hmm. or on the noun. Mm -hmm. So this nine tone is the root, two, minor three, or minor third, the third, the fourth, flat five, five, six, seven. So as we do in the, um, in the course, we play on one string. Okay, but it's... So I play for you the, the, the solo slow here mm -hmm. and then on the backing track. So okay. I review. It's one, two, three. I start from F sharp because it's a chromatic approach. It's one of the, the chapters of the... the the lesson, mm -hmm. chromatic approach to the chord tones is do, do, do. one, two, three, four. Diminished. Mm. Arpeggio. One note, one strings. <laughs> Let's play on the breaking track.
So uh, I don't know if it's beautiful, but it's it works no, no, for the it's, course. No, no, it's very clear because you love me. the way you've structured the course in you know bite-sized chunks, one yeah. concept at, at a time, leading up to this beautiful approach for unboxing yeah. the blues. Uh, this course, blues soloing unbox. It's on pre-order right now. Um, please, th this is this is one of those that you, if you play the blues, you want this in your library of instruction. Um, the promo code is Massimo Live. It's good for 25% off any of Massimo's courses. One of my favorite Massimo courses I work with to this day is um, the uh, acoustic rhythm solo factory where you yeah. help show us yeah, how yeah. to piece together verses and choruses and create you know, beautiful songs. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember, it was the, very fun. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Acoustic Pop Survival Guide, also. Also. Very big course. Um, you can use that code on any or all of the above. And... Um, I'm very Mas proud of the course we did together. We're I'm very we're proud. We're very proud as well, man. Um, let me tell you that you have more fans... Chiming in now uh, from Harlem, Netherlands, Norway, Hungary, India, Belgium, Seattle, Boulder, Colorado, New Hampshire, Florida, London, and Genova, Italy. Genova. Thank Genova. you, guys. Thank you, guys, from all over the world. It's, yeah. a, it's an honor for me. I'm, I'm very proud of Isn't that. Isn't it wonderful what happens when, you know, musicians, you know, we come together for an hour online from all over the world, yeah. all these time zones. All these different yeah. languages, you know, and and it's a brotherhood. Yeah, you because know? because we share, I call a reason, a why, mm -hmm. why, why, why. Because if you make music, you're you are you are in peace. You are is is challenging. Play is challenging. So you you get connect to them to what is hard to play, and when you know. Uh, this it make makes you happy. You're never tired to to play. Mm -hmm. Your brain, your your body. But after when you play a concert, you're a a, a better person. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, and it's really amazing. You know, as you travel around the world, as you do, as we get to do, and you meet so many different people. You know, could be you know they could be dressed any which way. They could be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer. A, doesn't matter what they do. Once you know that you both love music or both play guitar or both play an instrument, you're instantly connected. You yeah, know? instantly. It's, yeah. it's fabulous. So let's talk about the other course. But before we do that, mm -hmm. um, will you play another one of my favorite songs? How about First Train Home? Just a yeah. little bit of that. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry.
one of my favorites, man. Ah. The um, I just want to repeat kind of some of the stuff from the intro that I I, I think people are getting a good picture for why. Um, 30 million video views on YouTube across your video channel. Uh, 50 million records sold that you played on. You're a composer, you're an arranger, you're a director, you're a producer. Um, you're really, um, and you know, the consummate uh, educator. But I think everybody can pick up on your passion for music, your passion for the instrument. For sure. And, <laughs> you know, one of the things I love, like every now and then, will someone will send us a picture of Massimo on this giant stadium stage you know with the big lights and stuff and it's like you know we're just so really proud to be you know a, a collaborator your partner you know um really outstanding and i i you're one of the artists um i i get asked all the time from people whether they're electric or acoustic you know to recommend an artist that they should connect with you're always on my list man because you know you're mm, real thank you through and through you're real um let's talk about uh this other course which i'm really stoked about so you did a rhythm makeover rhythm talk makeover. about what we did with rhythm makeover so rhythm makeover uh, is not a course that I did in, uh, in the past on my mind was your suggestion because it's in your um, uh, are you educational we had a, plan. Are you saying we had a good idea? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that one of the most important things <laughs> is to recognize if you, are, if you have a suggestion and mm -hmm. someone has an idea better than yours. Mm -hmm. It's the only way to get up. Well, thank you for okay. that, man. Thank okay? you. So when uh, when I'm, I wrote to Ali, uh, to Ali, just, okay, let's meet. He said, oh, we can record two courses. Wow, two courses. I have probably one uh -huh. ready. Uh, let's put in contact with Jeff yes. and Tommy. And they explained to me the project of this. And I, I very like because it's very in my way. But I, I never uh, thought to make a course like that. So it's... We take five very popular progression, not popular, but popular mm -hmm. progressions. So like one, five, six, four, two, five, one, six, et cetera, mm -hmm. in different keys. Mm -hmm. And mm, I, uh, I produced the backing tracks, and it's, I think in, in a way that many guitarists can recognize in the music production today some, something like Ed Sheeran or a John Mayer or mm -hmm. more bluesy rock folk, blah, blah. Uh, no, blah, blah. And, and I did my perspective on how to approach that chord progressions. And I think that it's something that is very interesting. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to show you. Uh, Tommy wrote me... Three approaches. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's do the two five one six. Uh, two five one six. Okay. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I I talk on the back. Yes. Track. Yeah. I show you. Please play play back the the track, Tommy. So, the chords. change the extensions D minor 7 G7 C major 7 in a very easy way so the first rhythm could be This is a way, this is the first approach. Then we forget the root, like. We play on the 16th, second and fourth. And I like to, to think outside the box 
I put a capo here and think outside the box means that I have new chords, something like Okay, just starting from, thank you Tommy, starting from the same chord progression, the same backing track, mm -hmm. and, and uh, to think really outside the box, because the, you can have many approaches, and each approach uh, open doors, okay? I can play here, 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 or just think about that we can skip to play the root open a door mm -hmm. because D minor seventh and G seven just change one note like this is minor seven this is G seventh mm -hmm. this is C major with major seven but could be also A minor seven with the nine so D G, this is C, and this is also A minor 7, 9. Mm -hmm. It's just to have a different mm, perspective. Take the distance, because we always play chord. chords with root and all the notes of the chords. Mm -hmm. But it's, there's, there's a bass player. What is, what is he doing? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's playing the, the root. Yes. So, Listen for the bass player. Listen for the keyboard player. Yep. And I, I love this kind. We did something similar in the previous courses. And yes. Yeah, but it's the, always good. This is, um, you know, just, just kind of listening and, you know, experiencing for myself, but listening to hundreds and thousands of students over the years. What's clear is, you know, one of the big epiphanies you have in music is that you know, take the popular songbook. There's really only 20 progressions, probably yeah. support. Probably less. Nine, <laughs> you know, probably less that support 90% of the tunes out there. And so what makes it different from one song to the other? You know, it's embellishments, it's different rhythmic patterns. And this is what Massimo is presenting across these five very popular progressions. Yeah different ways to approach these common song progressions, but to make them sound very unique. And what's cool about what you've done here, Massimo, is the techniques you're using in all the different examples for all five of those progressions, you can do them for any progression. They're, they're creative approaches, harmonic approaches, and rhythmic approaches. Exactly. It, it's, not, uh, it's not specific to that progression. No. It's apply them anywhere. So show, let's do another one. Six four two five. The six four two five is one of the progression that I used, and also in the course we layering these three approaches, because it's also important to understand that uh, music is something that has different way to layer the notes, the the chords, the voice, the and so we can do that. And in the course, we do for sure the, this. The, the backing track is something like, I think, very, um, I don't know, it's actual. You say actual in this period. Yes. Okay. Like contemporary. Contemporary. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry, my vocabulary sometimes is very bad. Mm. And not at I, all, man. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. quite good. And I'd like to show you some ideas on the same backing track that is Six. So we always in this course we always start from the progression. Yeah. Is six four two four five mm -hmm. in E major. Yeah. So for sure the sound is C sharp minor, yeah. but we give the name of the, the the degree from the major. So it's six four two five. And in the first example, I don't put any color with extensions, just groove. And one is, for many examples, we split 
left hand and right hand. This is... With, with a rake, with a rasgueado, and then we move. Let's play over the bracken track. Kay. Thank you, Tommy. Tommy. Little more volume when you start. Now one, two, three, four. little bit more monitor okay so then we move to the same progression but you can call like John Mayer a little bit more John Mayer style using pick and fingers so isn't it and also we are going to play waves using a different way to use the pick to use the maximum elasticity of the pick without any accent one two three four I'd like to say that this is like a quiet sea without any wave yeah we put some waves on it and here are the dolphins <laughs> Different perspective, different approaches, yeah. uh, and I, I feel excited when I when I find uh, something that that works is something that happens that before wasn't there. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think that is magic of the music. Uh, it yeah. is magical, and you know you do so much session work, and of course you've been on all these albums, won all these Grammys. But at the end of the day, I remember you telling me about you know they call you into a studio. They, they have a standard song progression. Yeah. They're looking for a sound, and you're thinking about what part, what can I do to serve the song? I yeah. remember you telling me that yeah. story. And, you know, I think we can all relate to that. We might, you know, jam with some buddies. There might be a singer-songwriter that invites us to play with them. Even, even on the jam bandstand, you know, to be able to kind of find a part that sounds fresh that serves a song rather than the same old, same old that we tend to yeah. always do. So this course, Rhythm Makeover, it's another one. You, you just got to pick this up and you're going to have a blast, you know, play. You can take some of the techniques from one progression and then go run a backing track from another progression. Um, you'll, you'll walk away. T Tommy, there's five, right? Five progressions? Yeah, five. Five progressions. Five progressions, each progressions, is each progression have three different approaches mm -hmm. and the fifth progression and on the fourth progression we put also the three approaches together layering mm. and on the fifth progression i also changed bpm and back and tracks yeah that's right and um, uh, what, what was the course we did where you did layering that's a big thing that you do a pop guitar yeah. pop guitar survival guy right that is so. like five tracks of for each progression right which is you know very typical if you go into a studio and you're the only guitar player oftentimes you'll do multiple tracks but oftentimes if you're playing with another guitar player you're going to play one layer yeah. they're going to play the other layer yeah. to serve the song i love um, that course because it's 
also if you uh, okay you do many courses you know yeah. to fire but i had my laptop yes. on my side yeah. and okay i explained how to use also plugins yes. and virtual instruments and we have many um dimensions yes. one is the uh, the notes the how yeah, they are low or high the time and the the di the deepness is yes. made by the effects yes. and the sound so yes. three different way to put five six guitars on the same four chords yes. what wh while in a band two guitarists are too much yeah sometimes yeah Pop Guitar Survival Guide. Yeah, yeah. It's really a very... I don't know if the guys can pop that on the screen again, but, you know, if you want to get into Massimo, here's what I, here's what I would suggest, okay? Pop Guitar Survival Guide, because you cover a lot of fundamental building blocks, and then you show us how to embellish it yeah. on top. And then pick up rhythm makeovers. If you just want to get in... However, solo motifs isn't bad. Rhythm yeah. motifs isn't bad. And solo and motif is the one we did with Larry and yes, Robin. Yes, with Larry yeah. and Robin. Uh, the only ones that have done that so yeah. far. Yes. And the, uh, the masters. You know, the <laughs> masters. And you're a master in your own right, if you don't mind me saying. And of course, you know, the course I'm working on, Rhythm Factory Acoustic Rock. I just love that course. You know, I, I, I never fail to find something new and fresh from it. So um, I would love for you to play one more of your tunes. Um, would you play Midnight Sunset a little yeah, bit and a play little us bit. out? Um, I, and I, excuse me, because just because I, in the last months, yeah. I spent a lot of time writing a book. A book, not a music book. Mm -hmm. It's a, a book about my life, something different. Mm -hmm. And I had concerts, and I, I didn't play my uh, acoustic song, so I am my hands are not so ready oh, or I my know. standards. I know, Massimo. It's just, I don't know. You, if you we did, have to keep yeah, practicing yeah. every day, yeah, not true. one week at the NAMM show in L.A. Yeah. Um, listen, a couple things before you play us out with this. Number one, uh, we do have a trivia winner. They guessed correctly. Name the artist that won the Grammy for Best Latin Album that you played on every song name that artist laura posini yes incredible really incredible yeah yeah it, it, someone picked their, their answer yes the winner is tree spring so congratulations tree spring so it's not italian uh you could be it's just their uh, username just, could be yeah. you know you never know uh, but congratulations to you um tree spring yeah uh, they put $100 in your uh, True Fire account and, uh, you know, have fun spending it. Um, the other thing that I want to make sure we do, let's talk about the guitars. Talk about EKO. So, Echo is a, an Italian brand mm -hmm. that started in 1959 mm -hmm. with um, the founder called uh, Oliviero Pigini. Mm hmm at this epiphany <laughs> that that in in US the guitar start to become very very important while in Italy was the accordion very important so he started a company building guitars with the part of the accordion so i don't know if you remember like mm, like something like a celluloid pick you call celluloid yes, picks celluloid. Uh, with the celluloid with the switches mm -hmm. taken from the accordion. Mm -hmm. And they made very uh, interesting guitars. And on the acoustic, uh, they invented to have the bolt-on neck instead the glued neck. So that uh, kept the, 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 the price lower because it was very easy to build guitars, laminated guitars, be, uh, ma many uh, necks and many bodies, and every necks every neck fit in each, every body. So easy to, mm -hmm. uh, easy production. Mm -hmm. So guitar not expensive, but mm -hmm. unfortunately uh, in 1967, uh, Oliviero died very young. And then the company w w went very bad. But uh, in the end of eighties, um, the, the, the company started again, 
but making just very inexpensive guitar. So in the 2008, 2008, I was an endorser for Martin Guitars and PRS Guitar that are distributed. Distributed. Mm -hmm. Where is that? Sound? Distributed. 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 Bravo, bravo. Right. Molto bravo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in Grazie. Italy, by, by Echo. By okay. Echo. And they asked me to help uh, Echo brand. Mm -hmm. And so I designed the first guitar that uh, were called Mia. Mia in Italian means mine. Mm -hmm. Because the, the social media started, I, 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 I thought that it was a good idea to have uh, a guitar uh, that called Mia, that means mine, and so like a joke, hey Massimo, I, bu I bought a guitar, uh, a Mia guitar, and now it's not yours, it's Mia, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so something, it. something fun to yeah, share. Yeah. But also because it was a Mia guitar. Uh -huh. It was a D-shaped guitar with a, um, a thinner body, uh, with a good uh, ampli amplification, uh, but it was the cost of that guitar was four times the standard echo guitars. But mm. in in some months became the the most sold guitar from Echo. So the CEO asked me to take care of all the, the brand. And so it's like I, I feel sometimes like um, a kid in a toy shop. Mm -hmm. Because because I decided to have one hundred model of <laughs> guitars <laughs> to trying to the, the reason, the, the most important thing is why. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I want to say people happy and not for sure not all the people are rich enough mm -hmm. to buy a PRS, a Fender, buy, or, right. or a very expensive guitar. And so I started a big catalog made by uh, tens and tens of uh, probably almost 100 guitars. And that's good because the, the, for them the business is good and for me the, the feeling is good because the people are happy to play Echo. This is a Echo I sent to you f six years ago is uh, my model. This is my logo. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a, a gift for you and I'll send you also the... The VT, mm -hmm. the, the, this is called Terror, I will send you. And don't you. forget the baritone guitar. No, the that baritone. Word. I know yeah. you love the baritone. The <laughs> yes. very Evo 3 baritone blend I mm -hmm. will send you to keep it in studio. Um, and so this is an a Italian brand. This is uh, it's a, new, a new birth, mm -hmm. you can say birth, a new mm -hmm. renaissance. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy they're happy uh, because many people share energy, share on, also on the web energy. They play my songs with my mm -hmm. guitars. Yes. And I have many guitarists that are playing my cover. Yeah. And that makes me very you know, happy. It's very, um, it's a hard market to break into with an unknown brand, right? But yeah. I'll, I'll tell you this. I remember, remember introducing us to yeah. the guys at the factory. Yeah. They are also very, very passionate yeah. about uh, their craftsmanship, about making a really fine guitar, about making sure that it's affordable. I mean, yeah. that's refreshing. Yeah. You know? In that period, we don't have already um, a luthier that uh, in the one or two years later I can have on my side. It is, his name is Roberto Fontanot. Is a great luthier, mm -hmm. and the guitars are totally different from that point. I remember that mm -hmm. we we gave you, you helped us, and I gave we gave you some guitars for the All Star mm -hmm. Guitar Night. Yes. And you sold the guitar for, for the charity. For yep. the charity, yep. and now guitars are very better. I'm very happy about that guitars, uh, all all the catalog, and we have. Many problems with the the rosewood. You remember that probably you know yeah. that the scientists put yeah. the rosewood. Okay, but the things are going in a, the correct way. Well, we have you also know, seen the a fact show. that you know every company you know has challenges, you know, and bumps in the road. But you just came back from the Nam show. Yeah. Uh, how did that go for you? Just I a think week ago. I I have a good feeling because mm -hmm. also Echo. Um, uh, Eco is an Italian company. Now uh, they are they mix together. They share um, the, the the shareholders put the joint. Okay, the, the word is joint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> joint Algam is a big company in France, in mm -hmm. France, Spain, Portugal, mm -hmm. Benelux, and Scandinavia. So mm -hmm. Eco is a part of that um, that big uh, project, and I think that. The things will 
will be better than uh, they we expect. So um, folks are asking, can you get echo guitars in America and where? Yeah. So um, I know that uh, Guitar Center on online as the guitars. Also, mm -hmm. the Ranger was one of the our best selling mm -hmm. seller guitars in uh, Guitar Center. The distributor is David Kelly. Mm -hmm. Is here in Florida, in mm -hmm. Miami. That's right. Pro probably I you met talking him. To yeah, him. yeah. Yes. Is uh, Miami? Yeah, Miami. David Kelly is uh, a distributor. Also, the, he has percussions. Uh, it's possible to have it, and uh, you also can f mm, use contact on the website uh, mm -hmm. from Echo or contact me, and uh, yeah. Rosella will help me to put in contact. Okay, so, yeah. you know, Massimo has a, a, a wonderful website. They're very responsive. Feel free to shout out to yeah. Massimo anytime. Yeah. Check out what he's got going on there. We also just are showing the... Um, uh, you know, on the website where you can contact Echo. Um, what guitar, if someone played acoustic guitar, what model should they be interested in? What newer model would you recommend for someone? So we have two, um, two um, three new mo not models. Yes, the, the model is Cam uh, called Camaro. Camaro. It's an old model also from GM Mo uh, Motors. was yes, a car. Or Camaro. Camaro. And I made this guitar with two P90 pickups, mm -hmm. P90 styles pickup, yeah. because they are not uh, they are not expensive guitars from made in China, mm -hmm. because it's not possible to build in Italy an expensive guitar. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, Echo in 2019 is 60 years when the, the founder started mm. the, the business. And so for the 50, 50, 50th uh, anniversary, of the blue, sparkle blue, this amazing color. I did a camera with sparkle blue with a sparkle mm, pig guard mm -hmm. and a matched color um, headstock. Mm -hmm. And so check it out, it's called Camaro VR, that means um, vintage ray shoe, blue uh -huh. sparkle. And that is the new guitar. And there's also we have a, a small guitar, is is not a mini guitar, a little bit small, called uh, Marco Polo, uh -huh. because Marco Polo was, uh, uh, a traveler uh, is like a myth between the Europe and the, um, the China, uh -huh. and they call the Silk Way. Yeah. And so we have Marco Polo is a very good guitar in mahogany or with Italian spruce because mm -hmm. we started to use uh, uh, the sp Italian spruce that is mm -hmm. very famous. Stradivari mm -hmm. used yeah. Italian spruce. For sure, our guitar costs less than a Stradivari mm -hmm. violin. <laughs> uh, but... Um, so Marco Polo, check it out. Marco Polo is a small guitar. We use millimeters. It's 610 millimeters, mm -hmm. the, the, the scale. Mm -hmm. I don't remember, sorry, in, uh, in inches. It's okay. How much is it? Um, but Marco Polo Marco the Polo, model. the okay. model. It's two guitars. One is uh, spruce top and one is mahogany. Okay, great. Thank you, man. Good, yeah. good luck with that. I know. Uh, Thank you. You're very passionate about the instruments and looking over everything. And, yeah, I, and, we, we decide you know, everything. certainly sounds beautiful. Yeah. And we can't wait to get ours. So, yeah. you know, yeah. um, thank, uh, thank everybody for tuning in from all over the place. Ali says, um, you're but not you just... you are on screen, David, uh, Brad. <laughs> uh, you are on screen because well, I, I, they'll, I don't they'll see they'll that the camera. will pop to me a, a, a huh. little bit every uh, now and okay. then, but, um, Ali wants you to know that she says you're not just painting the nails of the hamsters. Okay. <laughs> so we promised to give people one of the Italian sayings. Talk about the hamster saying, painting the nails of the hamster. Okay. This is, Explain this is it. a joke. This is a joke because in, uh, I, I, I lived in Rome for like 14 years and in Rome there's many mm, sentence that makes <laughs> a so uh, w you can use example uh, on a professional mm -hmm. that is playing, uh, is playing good uh -huh. as a good playing guitars. Uh -huh. They say, "Oh, you're good," and the answer is, "Hey, I'm not here to paint the hamster's nail." <laughs> okay, I'm not pissing from my knee. <laughs> okay. And then the chickens one, which we love. Uh, right? I know my chicken is. I know my chickens. I know my chickens is. When something happens uh, and you know that uh, 
could happen. So it's like, I know my chickens, I know the people who I work with. And so, so like you have kids and you put a chocolate over there. Mm-hmm. It, it say, hey, the chocolate disappears. <laughs> hey, come on, I know my chickens. <laughs> How do you say that in Italian? Conosco i miei polli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, thank you, man, for spending this time with us. I, I know we took, thank you. we ran over a little bit, but everybody was into it. Yeah. And uh, appreciate I don't you. have the, the watch. You don't so. have to. Uh-huh. I mean, if people are, you know, loving it, we just stay live. Yeah. Um, would you play us out, though? Mi- a little bit of Midnight yeah. Sunset and say ciao. Okay. Ciao. Thank you to stay with us. Thank yes. you, Brad. Thank you, Massimo.